man you have only met tonight who is wearing fake glasses and a black tank top in a dive bar in Manhattan has made you laugh 11 times already. He is teaching you how to download apps on your new iPhone. He is opening one and using his fingertip to scribble his name across the screen so you will remember it. And you allow your body to become a song that says, move closer. And when it first appears, you don't know how to name love. So it is texting you last night and again this morning. It is losing the other numbers in your phone until five months pass. And it is just you and this man laying in your bed on 25th Street, your hand slung across his chest, nearly asleep. And there is a James Bond movie finishing on the TV. Just before your eyes are meant to close, his body is an electric current in tight underwear, out of bed and dancing, pirouetting nearly into the television, and interpretive spy dance that is not stopping, but blossoming to the music of the credits. And your body is now in tears from a profound laughter. It is no longer just a joke, no longer just a beautiful dance. It is the truth from a body that can only occur in a bedroom between lovers that says, when you are happy, I am alive. Without you, I am not me. And it does not matter that it will take weeks to name the love that sits inside you stable as a new house. You are traveling into your past where he is not. But now you see him everywhere in the moving van at nine years old, at 13 in the mirror, and the bottle of pills. He was there in the arms of the first man to hold you and assure you were beautiful. He is not just dancing perfectly around your dresser and curtains in his underwear. He is doing it for you. And you do not need to know that love is a word which will travel free between you like a flock of sparrows, that you will deliver yourself to it across an uptown C train, a fire pit in Boston, the wedding aisle in a library on the west side of Manhattan, that there are years between this day and the day you say that no other word could communicate what we both know. When you say, husband, because my life is my own and I wish to give it to you, because I wish to apologize, to forgive, to come home to you each night, husband, because it was true in a dive bar and in a bedroom, in an apartment that we share on a street where I walk around the block because we have just had a fight and I am coming home to you calm. I name you my husband to receive you, true today. Tomorrow, my husband, because I have spent my entire life climbing toward your name. Thank you.